Hi, dear friends. Warm greetings. I hope you're having a beautiful day. For all those seeing me for the first time, my name is Hans Otto Koenig Waters, and for over 50 years I've been dealing with parapsychology, focusing mainly on ITC. We'll talk about that later. But to start with, it's important to explain what we intend to do, because the next episodes will deal with a certain topic. Right now, I'll talk about us. That's Anna Maria and me. Anna Maria has also had a lot of experience in this field over time. She has even written a wonderful book about my research in instrumental transcommunication that has been published in three languages. Yes, death, life, we always ask ourselves, where do I come from and where will I go? I asked myself the same questions at the beginning, and then I noticed that they're completely unnecessary. You shouldn't ask yourself those questions. You should first ask, what am I here for? What is my task? Why am I here in this life? It has to make sense, doesn't it? Or did it all happen to me like this without a cause? Well, these are the big questions. Sometimes you won't find an answer, but there are times when the answers will make their way to you. This is the so-called coincidence that does not exist, because if you don't ask, you won't get the answer. What if I ask, what is the meaning of my life now? What am I here for? Probably at some point I would get some answers. This is certainly the whole point and purpose. In the following episodes, we'll discuss questions like this that come from you. There are still many questions that have not yet been answered, especially in parapsychology. Yes, I'm using the term parapsychology, although in my opinion there is no such thing as parapsychology. There are also no paranormal voices, and outside of our own existence on this plane, there is no afterlife either. These assertions sound almost presumptuous, because we have not yet understood them or experienced them. We always and only depend on our five senses. What our five senses tell us is law for us. And this isn't the case, as we haven't yet learned something. We were born, then raised by our parents. Of course, they'll raise us to the best of their abilities. They will tell their child, you should choose well and then manage your future well. You have to behave as we teach you. But no one will ask the child if he had something totally different in mind for his life. And then the child grows up. He has to learn things, has to go to school. In school, he will be taught many different disciplines, science, languages, art, culture, history, and so on. Everything will have an influence on his mental growth, even years later. When the child becomes a teenager, the changes continue. At this point, memories of myself come to mind. I have noticed that many of my friends and acquaintances have changed over the years due to having lived new experiences and having learned from them. And suddenly, you will be confronted with something you've never seen, something paranormal. And when you tell your parents about it, whether you're a child or an adolescent, what will they say? See what a head full of fantasy that child has. We have all built for ourselves a personal image of life, our own vision of the world. But it may happen that we are suddenly confronted with events that go beyond this elaborate model. And behaving almost like fools, we aren't able to accept it and adapt it to what we haven't yet learned. But because we have encountered something completely different, we are considered strangers to our society because such differences are not part of collective thinking. There is nothing paranormal. What happens in ITC, in metaphony, are phenomena that are part of our normal life. We can't accept them because of the simple fact that we aren't capable of it. 
In the past, when a person claimed to hear voices, they were immediately locked up and called crazy. No one asked why something like this happened. Finding the reason together, finding the why, will be the main topic behind each question and theme that we deal with in the next few episodes. And this will be my goal, to guide us to find answers based on my experiences obtained from 50 years of research in, quote, paranormal phenomena, unquote. Voices, manifestations from different worlds, and their messages received through my equipment built for ITC. For many years, my studies remained unsuccessful. How many times did I get to the point of abandoning this whole field? Then, suddenly, I found myself faced with what I had always been looking for. I heard the first voice coming from beyond. I would like to add, however, that I was not the only one. There are experimenters, people all over the world, who successfully investigate, and their numbers will continue to grow. There are apparitions that come across to us. For example, Voices can be heard at a certain time in a certain place. And then you begin to investigate, saying to yourself, yes, there is no voice here, why not? Then you doubt and say, yes, well, there are possibilities in which metabolic disorder can occur in the brain, which then leaves you a little confused. But does it happen to many people? Years ago, I spent a long time, yes, in psychiatric hospitals for scientific reasons. I spent hours and hours with inpatients, asking them how what they had gone through had resolved. A very interesting and already complex topic in itself, absolutely to be included in our discussions, because I find it very, very important for all of us. And there will also be a nice theme that I would like to offer you. There is still little talk about animals in our nature. Animals are really close to my heart. Those that have a mind, that have a consciousness, that is comparable to our consciousness. Every animal, be it a frog, a dog, or whatever it is, has its own consciousness, enough to live its own life. Animals have feelings just like all other living things on earth. And somehow I've even come to believe this, for example, for crystals as well. I have one in my hand here. And believe it or not, crystals do have consciousness. And I would like to explain why. Not just because I'm telling you. No, I will be able to explain it and show you what is happening with the crystals. That there are possibilities that I have developed measurements to determine the reactions of the crystals. So, if you have any questions, please email us. You can find the address below. I look forward to meeting you or hearing from you again. Keep in touch. Wishing you well. Until next time, bye-bye.